Hi guys and welcome back to another video. A lot of you guys have been asking me for a like photo card like video tour thing of my binder so here it is. This is my complete collection um, and I was actually planning on filming one of these because it's been one year since I started collecting. However, when I started collecting, I originally started collecting albums. I never thought about photo cards. I wasn't interested in photo cards at all until like May. That's when I started my photo card collection. So I've only been trading and buying and selling photo cards and whatever related to photo cards for like a few months, but yeah. Um, so I start off with Kang Daniel, my main binder. I just really love the way it looks. So that's what I've been doing. I also spent the last two to three hours putting in these white sleeves just so that it would look cleaner and like you guys wouldn't be able to see onto the next page um and yeah that's that was definitely a lot to say and here we have my bts collection and my bts collection is literally all white there is literally nothing here um I've pretty much just kept the photo cards that I've pulled and I haven't really worked on my BTS collection because I feel like it's very overwhelming because the prices are absolutely insane. Um, and yeah, but I do hope to fill up these pages one day. I only plan on collecting Love Yourself, Map of the Soul 7, and Map of the Soul Persona at the moment. Um, but I might go back later on once I finish the, these ones because these are my favorite era So I would really like to collect these ones first and then I'll see about the previous ones and then the future ones This is the only one that has had any progress It's version of four of map of the soul seven and then now we're on to golden child and a golden child has definitely been a journey so far to collect but it's you know it's moving slowly and there's progress so i guess that's good enough for me this is literally one of those like expectation versus reality videos um i think when you start collecting photo cards people expect like you to collect very quickly and to have like very complete collections especially as a collector on youtube but as you can see my collection has holes everywhere and is nowhere near complete at all um, so this is the reality of, well, this is my reality, at least for photo card collecting, um, and yeah. And then we have Take a Leap era here, and I actually am missing, um, one page in front of this, oh, again, oh, sorry guys, I'm actually missing a page because... I didn't pull any of the members that would have belonged on that page, so I just didn't put in the page and then in the future when I get the photo cards, I can go ahead and put them in. But yeah, this is so far. This is literally my favorite part of the binder because this feels the most complete. Um, and it is complete because I received all of these photo cards in their fan club kit. And look at Bowman, always on a page by himself. And if you guys have kept up with my organization videos, you guys know I'm literally in the middle of a makeover right now. Um, and so I've been working on putting in holographic sleeves where the spaces where there wouldn't be photo cards would be. So you can see here, like for the rows, this is how I have it set up. And yeah, so my binder is definitely going to be changing a lot in the next few weeks. I have more holographic sleeves on the way and I need to finish this makeover. And I, yeah, it's just, yeah, I have a lot. And then here we have Dawn by the Rose. This is that era. I'm missing four more photo cards because there's eight total. And then here we have Red. And then Wusung solo album. And I'm definitely missing like three of them, I believe. And then here we have One We. And then One Us. And for this era in particular, I ended up putting both versions of the photo cards on the same page um, until I'll get some more and then I'll like separate them into this spread pattern that you guys see here. And then I have In It's Time postcards, my Music Taste postcards, and then In It's Time photo cards. I'm missing five more. I might actually just give up the My Music Taste photo cards and put holographic fillers. I would be okay with that. Here we have Lived and Very Empty. This is a recent album. I haven't worked on it at all. And I'm actually on a buying hiatus right now because there's too many comebacks and I just need to slow down. Um, and yeah, here we have ATs. This is a newly added collection. I wasn't planning on collecting ATs, but recently I decided to. So here is ATs section, very empty as well. So hopefully we'll fill those up. And then here we have CIX. Yeah. 
Here's uh, the second album, and then we have the signed subculture cards, the ID cards, and the photo cards. Here's the red version. The red version needs some work as well. And then here's GOT7. I'm actually thinking about giving up my GOT7 collection because I don't really plan on collecting photo cards for them in the long run because there's just too, too many. Um, I did collect these ones because I just really loved them, but I might give them up. And then we have Gravity. And the Gravity is also very, very empty as well. It's been definitely harder to find Gravity cards. Um, I feel like you would collect, I would be able to collect Gravity a lot faster if I just bought albums. But as a multi-stand, like I said, my budget definitely runs thin across all groups um, versus just collecting like a few groups. I might downsize actually so that I can focus more on the groups that I do want to collect. But as of right now, um, yeah, this is what my binder looks like. I have Elast here and then I have black pink. I didn't put white sleeves because it's the last page so you guys can easily see it anyways. Um, but I haven't decided if I'm going to collect black pink yet. I would like to, but as you can see, literally none of my collections are even near complete. So I want to like get updated and focus on some first before moving on to new groups because otherwise I'll never have a complete or updated collection. And then here we have my treasure binder. And here are the postcards I got for chapter one. These were pre-order benefits. And then here are the postcards for chapter one. So far, there's only chapter one in this binder. Chapter two hasn't arrived yet, but it's definitely shipped out. I think it'll arrive early next week or like the end of this week. Um, but we'll see when they arrive and then I'll do a whole unboxing. There are so many photo cards for chapter two. I definitely think I'm going to be collecting at a much slower rate. Um, because it's definitely very time consuming and expensive and just, yeah, I feel like I just need to slow down a bit and take a breather. My chapter one collection is actually almost complete. I believe I'm missing only five more cards. I'm actually waiting for a few more to arrive in the mail and then I'll film a, um, photo card haul video for treasure and then I'll film a photo card organization video just for them. And yeah, I'm excited to collect chapter two because the photo cards are so dang cute. But they've added Apple Music photo cards and then Music Arts Korea. And then apparently K-pop Music Town LA also has pre-order benefits. I'm literally so confused. Like, where are these cards coming from? Like, please slow down. And then here's my NCT binder, and you'll see a lot of empty spaces as well. I focused more on their newer eras, and then now I'm finally starting to go back. So here I have Fire Truck and Superhuman. I think Fire Truck is the farthest I've gone. I don't have like the albums for like Regulate yet or Cherry Bomb, but I have bought a few photo cards, so I'll definitely have those set up whenever I get them in the mail. Here we have Neo Zone, and Neo Zone is almost complete, guys. I can literally feel it. I can see the finish line, and I'm so excited to cross it. It's taken so much time, money, and effort, and I'm so proud that it's almost done. Then we have the repackage. You can definitely see that I focus more on NCT because I don't have so many blank areas like um, my main binder. But as you can see, this is the area where I ran out of sleeves. So yeah, you. I hope you guys can see okay. I think it looks okay, but I'll definitely buy some more white fillers and fill them in when I get a chance. And then we have NCT Dream and the early areas, the early eras of NCT Dream, I definitely don't have much of, but for Reload, I'm pretty much almost done. I think I'm missing two photo cards and one circle card. And then we move on to Wavy and Wavy has been the slowest like collection for me. Um, I've been focusing a lot on NCT 127 and more on NCT Dream and I just need to kind of get my stuff together. Why is Lucas here? I need to move him to a different page. Um, but yeah, it's definitely been slow for Wavy, but you know, it'll get there one day. That's okay. And then here we have Super M and I'm actually debating my entire Super M collection just because I don't have the kind of funds to collect them right now, but I definitely won't be trading them away or anything. I'll just wait until I have money to buy their photo cards or buy their albums. And then here is like a random binder with like miscellaneous stuff that I never cleaned out. Um, you can see Jin is there. I need to move him over. And then I also have Astro photo cards. I haven't decided to collect Astro, but I don't want to give away or like trade away or sell these because I really do want to collect Astro in the future. Um, and so yeah, I won't 
I've just been holding on to them. And then I have miscellaneous cards from like SF9, Banner, DKB, um, and like Pentagon and stuff. Just random stuff that I haven't decided what to do with yet. And this is pretty much it. This is all of my photo cards. It's not a very like astonishing collection, but I'm definitely very proud of it because I paid for everything myself and I worked very hard to afford all of these things. And it's definitely come a long way, I feel like, for the only like May. It's been three months since I started or like four months since I started. No idea. Anyways, this is the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.